going into the Olympics, my biggest expectation was to make the final, and you know, that's all I ever wanted to do at that time. And um, being in the actual final and being ranked first, um, and I just thought, this is my chance. And, Uh, I was feeling good, <laughs> you know, just a wave of sort of sound just hit me as I walked out of the call room. My grandma was there, some of my friends came and the Lithuanian president was there as well, <laughs> watching the race. No one knew who I was really, so <laughs> everyone was just like, who is that girl? <laughs> I've never seen her before. You know, I was so happy with my time in the heats and I went 105 for the first time in my life. And me and John just said to each other, we just need to repeat that again two more times. And that's really what I was focusing on. I think I was one of the youngest in the, in the, in the field, but um, that one of the favourites was definitely you know, the world champion and Olympic champion, Rebecca Sony. Yeah, the full start didn't um, you know, put me off at all. Um, I just thought to myself, yeah, things like that happen. Uh, nothing to get nervous or worried about and just wait for everything to, to pass and yeah, just try to stay in my zone. I knew that those girls you know, they're really strong in the back 50, so to be able to win, I needed to go out faster, um, I think, than most of them, because their the back 50 is just so strong, and back then I used to really fade in the last 25. I mean, it doesn't exactly show here how big the crowd was, but, you know, the, the size of the crowd and the amount of people that were there, it was just completely, you know, overwhelming and it was crazy. I think I turned first, if I'm correct. But yeah, my rate's quite high and I was just going for it. <laughs> All I could see was the wall, so, you know, the, I was just focusing on that and that's, that was my goal and just trying to get to it as fast as I could without looking you know, to the sides or anything. So. The race was uh, going pretty well until the last 15 <laughs> metres where, you know, I was starting to hurt and the girls were starting to catch me up by loads and, you know, you can s sort of see the splashes coming through and uh, try not to look and, you know, what I was telling you before the race, I, said, I knew those girls were really strong at coming back and all I needed to do is keep my eyes on my own lane and focus on my own swimming rather than anyone else's. So there's Sony and she's catching me up loads. <laughs> At that time I was just probably like, ah, <laughs> screaming in my head. <laughs> Winning by seven, seven one hundredths. And uh, yeah, it was pretty close. I think if it would have been 105 meters, Raise, then I probably would have lost, but yeah. Yeah, the moment that I knew that one, um, yeah, I couldn't believe it at all. And it was just overwhelming and so much emotion was coming up at me, I guess. I started crying eventually. <laughs> Obviously, going through the mix zone, doing, did loads of interviews, but um, they told us to get, get, uh, get ready for the podium quickly, and so I didn't have much time, but I was just sort of in a shock and trying to, you know, um, understand what happened. But then, as we got closer to the podium, I started to realise what actually happened. And when I went up, that's where all the emotions came out, I think. And just, yeah, I started crying. <laughs> the embarrassing moment. Um, I mean, the, the very moment when I stood up on that podium was, um, you know, that's been my dream you know, ever since I was little. As I jumped off, you know, being able to represent my country, maybe one day, uh, definitely not at those Olympics, you know, I can stand up on that podium and hear my um, my country's anthem. But you know, and I didn't expect to do that 
in London, but you know, it was such a proud moment for me and um, yeah, definitely a dream come true.